Outwitting the Devil is a book written by Napoleon Hill, the author of Think and Grow Rich. Hill was a personal success coach and motivational speaker who was inspired by a supposed meeting he had with the devil in the 1930s. The book, which was published posthumously in 2011, is based on an unpublished manuscript that Hill wrote shortly after his encounter with the devil. In the book, the devil is personified as a creature who seeks to control the minds of men and keep them from achieving their full potential. Hill engages in a conversation with the devil, in which he asks the devil a series of questions about how he goes about manipulating human beings. Through this dialogue, Hill outlines a set of principles that can be used to overcome the devil's influence and achieve success in life. The book begins with Hill's introduction to the devil, who he refers to as His Majesty. According to Hill, the devil was able to convince him to sign a contract that would allow him to control Hill's life. After several years of struggling against the devil's influence, Hill finally gained the upper hand and managed to break free from the contract. The first principle that Hill highlights in the book is the importance of definiteness of purpose. According to Hill, the devil uses fear, doubt, and indecision to keep people from pursuing their goals and dreams. By being clear about what one wants in life and maintaining the determination to achieve it, individuals can overcome these obstacles and outweigh the devil. Hill also emphasizes the importance of self-discipline, both in thought and action. The devil is portrayed as a creature that thrives on chaos and confusion, and he uses people's lack of discipline to keep them from achieving their goals. By cultivating the habit of self-discipline, Hill argues, individuals can not only achieve their goals but also become more resistant to the devil's influence. Another principle that Hill highlights is the importance of cultivating positive emotions. According to Hill, the devil is able to control people's minds by feeding off of negative emotions such as fear, anger, and despair. By cultivating positive emotions such as love, faith, and hope, individuals can not only achieve greater success but also counteract the devil's influence. The book also addresses the importance of developing good habits, particularly those related to time management and the use of one's mental faculties. The devil is portrayed as a creature that promotes procrastination and idleness, and he uses these habits to keep people from achieving their goals. By developing good habits and using one's time and mental faculties wisely, Hill argues, individuals can overcome the devil's influence and achieve greater success. Finally, the book addresses the importance of spiritual development. According to Hill, the devil is ultimately a spiritual entity, and therefore, the most effective way to outweed him is to cultivate a strong spiritual foundation. Hill highlights the importance of faith, prayer, and meditation as ways of strengthening one's spiritual foundation and becoming more resistant to the devil's influence. Overall, Outwitting the Devil presents an interesting perspective on achieving success in life. The principles outlined in the book are based on Hill's personal experiences and conversations with the devil, and therefore, readers may find them to be somewhat unconventional. However, the book offers a unique and thought-provoking perspective on the importance of harnessing one's mental and spiritual faculties to achieve greater success in life.